Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Listen, despite 2020 being <clears throat> 2020, I find that it's still, or perhaps more than ever, important to celebrate wins and positive things. So today I wanna to share with you something that's really important to me and something I'm really, really excited to announce. So, <clears throat> I'm the new correspondent for a show called Speedrun on Quibi. And yo, this is this is the true like senpai has noticed me moment because the show is by a little old gaming hub called Polygon. For context, that's my go-to site for gaming news and everything about that industry or about this industry. So to be a part of it in this capacity is really, really, really exciting for me. And furthermore, you know, like I can't help but get a little emotional thinking back to the early days of bringing weekly news and stories on YouTube with Smosh Pit Weekly and then coming into this glow up. I mean, if you told me 10 years ago that this this girl would be co-hosting a show that's on the same platform as Chrissy Teigen and Liam Hemsworth and JLo, she'd freaking flip out. So anyway, the show. Uh, Speedrun will be on Quibi three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I, along with Jimmy Mondal, who I've gotten to know over the past year and is just awesome and intelligent and talented and insightful, will be talking about gaming news, community stories, interviews, we'll be discussing important topics surrounding the culture of gaming, and so, so, so much more. And I'm really excited, especially about interviewing and getting to know folks in the gaming community because as, as the word community implies, it takes collaboration and bringing people together. So I'm excited to be able to celebrate and talk to people who I may or may not have come into contact with um, even though we're all in the gaming world. So it's, um, it's super exciting. For example, this week, I got to interview I Am Brandon, and we talked about one of my favorite things to love and hate all at the same time, horror games. I mean, if you know anything about me, you know my past about, about horror games. So um, yeah, it was really cool to talk to somebody who loves video games and loves horror at the same time. So anyway, instead of me just talking about the episode, I've been given the okay to play the entire first episode that I'm in. So I, I hope you love it. I hope it, it entices you to keep watching the show on Quibi. Um, so yeah, let's, let's, let's roll it. Do you see me? I'm in a house. I don't. The, the the HUD disappears when you get closer. <gasps> like what's happening? Well, I don't know. I don't know. There was interference. Did you see that? Yeah, yeah. Or was that, that just me? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Can you get in this window? Yeah, I'm in the window. Get win in this window. Uh, what? Uh, Covered in blood. Uh, oh my god! Close the door. Close oh the door. Oh my god! Not okay. Oh, I'm getting in the window. Oh, he's at the window. Oh no! He baited me. As you can see, I don't like horror games, but if you type horror games into YouTube or Twitch, you'll find countless hours of people freaking out over scary games. The top hits have hundreds of thousands, sometimes even millions of views. Celebrity streamers like Omar Sabali and Trixie Mattel have built huge chunks of their massive following by playing scary games. For some reason, gaming audiences just love to watch their favorite creators scream. As I keep watching these terrifying videos, I find myself asking the same question. Why do people love playing horror games? Luckily for me, I've got some backup to help me answer these questions. Hey there, Jimmy. This is Mari Takahashi. You may know her better as Atomic Mari. She's an avid host, streamer, and YouTuber, and now she's also Speedrun's new West Coast correspondent. Thank you for the intro, Jimmy. And dude, I completely hear you. And maybe we can get you there. It's why I want to bring in an expert in horror to explain a little bit better exactly why people enjoy watching and playing horror games. This is I Am Brandon. He's a professional video game streamer who describes himself as the ultimate horror fan. He specializes in streaming scary games like Resident Evil. The more he screams, 
the more his fans seem to enjoy it. I've never heard those sounds come out of Brandon before. You've built your entire community on people having an interest in watching you get scared. Yeah. What do you think the audience gets out of that? Uh, I know for a fact that people enjoy my reactions because I, I react how I would if it really was happening to me. Uh, there was a time that I was playing PT and there was a part where Lisa came out of nowhere and grabbed my character from behind and turned me around and like, you know, uh, spooked him to death pretty much. And I like threw my controller across the room because I'm so scared. <laughs> and so did you. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is why I can understand why it's really fun for the viewer, because we get to watch you have an absolute meltdown. <laughs> this stuff was happening to me in real life, I would, one, not be there, and then two, I would probably scream and run and hide. Brandon doesn't just make his viewers laugh. He co-created an event called the Scarathon, where horror streamers raise money for charity. We've raised, like, I think it's over uh, $100,000 in three years so far for different charities. That's incredible. Yeah. <laughs> Let's say we're trying to convince Jimmy that this is fun. What would you say to him? I don't know, it's just, it's just like the thrill of, of like, being nervous and not knowing what's next is, is something that just like makes her heart race, but I like that for some reason. It's weird. I'm like a, a thrill chaser. Brandon, I am sweating. I'm anxious. I'm excited. It's I'm it's a whole roller coaster, and I absolutely love it. Thank you so much for joining us. Can't wait to keep seeing you on the internet and just crushing it. Yeah, thank you for having me. Thank you. And uh hopefully I'll see you all on my channel soon. Brandon makes some pretty good points. I can kind of understand what he's saying, but I I can't say that I want to put myself through that stress. I really don't get it just yet. Listen, I think we need to convince you. We have to play a scary game together. Why? Why? I I should have just said I was convinced, Mari. What, what do you got in mind, I guess? <laughs> How about Friday the 13th? Which, of course, is a video game based on the movie. You get to play either as Jason or the poor camp counselors that he's trying to kill. And Jimmy, it only makes sense. You're going to play the camp counselor. <sighs> okay, I guess. Let's do it. Oh, I used to play as Deborah Kim. It's all coming back to me now. I'm gonna go with Chad. Chad Kensington, because he's got 10 out of 10 luck. I'm scared. Hi. Hi, Mari. Hello. Chad, let's go. <laughs> let's go inside here. Oh my god, why did I fling that open so oh, god. <laughs> Alright, so I found a... Yo. What, what's, <gasps> happening? what's happening? What's happening? What is that? Oh. I don't know. Oh, I, I see a red I... thing on the map. Red things on maps generally not good, right? <laughs> Who the hell is screaming? Am I right, he's oh right at the god, window. He's, he's right at the window. Oh my god, he's at the window. He's at the window. How do we is get out? Window? How do we get out of the door? Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Well, <laughs> okay that makes this a lot of sense. Barricade was very unhelpful. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. No, 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 can I help no, no, you? No, no, what can no, I do? No, I've got a battery no, no, in my hand. No, no, no. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. My god. Can you get in this window? Yeah. Okay. Get in this window. God, you're covered in blood. Oh my god. Oh my god. Not okay. Oh, I'm getting out the window. He's literally out the window! Uh, I don't understand. Like, how can you take this for hours on end? Uh, uh. See? This is why we play. For that sense of relief after the scary moment. It's for the elation. I'm s probably not still in the house. Oh, he's found me. Oh, well. Oh. That sounds like a murder. Yeah, Chad has unfortunately passed away. <laughs> okay, Jimmy, are you not entertained? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know exactly that I would call it fun, but there's definitely adrenaline, and combined with the sense of relief from escaping the hands of a serial killer, it definitely gives the game its fair share of ups and downs, so there's something there. Dude, you're getting it. it. Of course it's not your traditional sense of what fun is, but there's something about being able to play in a safe environment, face your fears, and get through something like this. And you know what, Jimmy? You, you did. You got through it. I'm glad you did. I, yeah, uh, unfortunately my character in-game did not really get through it, but I'm glad we made it through the experience alive, Mario. So, you know, thank you for having me. Thank you for being there. So, uh, I'm still not a huge fan of horror games, but I guess I can really understand the adrenaline rush that people like Brandon and Mari get from being scared, and the sense of achievement that comes with it. 
There you have it, everyone. Speedrun's first episode back from hiatus. I hope you found my fear and misery entertaining. I suffered for your pleasure. So to continue looking at the unexpected ways games can be fun, on Wednesday, we're actually going to be talking to a psychologist about the joy of frustrating games. What is that, bro? All this and so much more right here on Speedrun. That's the show. I I am I'm really excited. I want to thank you for being and continuing to being on this wacky journey with me, whether you've been here since forever ago or you're new to the community, in which case, yokoso and welcome. Yeah, I um I just appreciate you. And I and I hope you're well. And through everything, I hope you're taking care of yourself so that you may better take care of others. And I hope you celebrate wins and small victories for yourself as well. So yeah, that's that's it for today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'd love to hear from you. And if you share this excitement with me, please, please, please tweet me. Come join the speedrun community. Hashtag speedrun the show. No, sorry, no, hashtag speedrun show. So I see it, I can comment on it, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, I'll see you soon. Once again, thank you. I'll see you next time. Matane!